Hi, Rob. Welcome back to Sick Podcast, guys. Today we're gonna be talking about some uh, some of our Halloween or spooky season traditions, um, because it's almost upon us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, what are y'all feeling? What do y'all, what do y'all do? I'm excited. You know, I'm excited to see the children. <laughs> and, uh, I'm excited to see the costumes. I'm okay. Actually, actually, yeah, yeah. The costumes. I actually do want to see what's, what's yeah, going on. Yeah, it's always cool to see the children come out and. Uh, <laughs> That sounds so weird when you say that. <laughs> it's not, well, I, what else can I say? I want to see the children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, it's always cool to see costumes, and I definitely love to see the Halloween tradition stay alive because nowadays it's it's dying. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Actually, doing it maybe, maybe that's just our perception because we are. It's definitely dying for us. That's for sure. No, yeah. It's already dead. I, I don't know from. From these like year like these following Halloweens, I feel like there's like less and less kids out, and, and you know it makes you feel sad. You know, back when I was a kid, and you see like a fuck ton of kids like running that's around. That's true. That's true. Getting the candy, but now this, I don't know, it's not that much. And uh, last year when we gave out candy, half the bowl was still there. I call that a win. I, yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> it, the same it, thing. It's yeah. like a, it's a win for you guys, Nico, because I, I like candy too, but. These are for, you know, uh, for the kids. And, you know, I want them to experience, like, that's get them getting that wonderful candy and, you know, spraying it out, trading it. Yeah, that's that's a good memory, too. Like, me and my siblings would come home and then uh, just dump out our, our bags full of candy on the floor, sort out, like, what we would want, what we don't want, see what we want to barter with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It became an entire <laughs> economic system right there. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of cool that one house in my neighborhood, it's, uh, like, towards the end of the street, they always have a fuck ton of like Halloween decorations. Out there. I'm pretty sure you guys seen oh, yeah, it. One yeah. Oh, I've seen you, it. Yeah, you guys are coming to my every, house. Every neighborhood has that like one house that's best at doing the scary house, and then and, oh, yeah. and one house that's like best at decorations, and one house that you know you always get the good big yeah king size candy with. That you know? house is the best all around. It's oh, yeah. scary. It has a bunch of Halloween decorations, and they give out the big candies. What? So oh, like you would see. Jackpot. So sometimes I would like walk out and just like see what's going on. And then I always go to that house, and you always see like a line of kids at that single house trying to get going there because they're so scared. <laughs> and they always like go there, and the, they, the people there living in that house also dress up too. Oh, that's fun. Oh, all right. So, so, so they really they get, play the part. They know? really get into the Halloween spirit, and you know I like that. And that's what you're worried about. That's dying out. That yeah. Halloween spirit. It, it makes me sad a little bit. That's actually. It kind of feels that way for not just Halloween, but for every uh, like kind of traditional American holiday. Like, Except Christmas. <laughs> well, even even oh, Christmas I'm, sometimes. I'm going to say even Christmas. Oh, yeah. really? Christmas is always even more noticeable where it's just... Yeah, it's like the, the season approaches and it just feels less and less like Christmas every single year for some reason. Don't know why. I don't know. I mean, something... Maybe some... people have that mentality. It's the gift-giving season than the... Well, to be fair, like, I mean, we kind of sometimes, almost every Christmas, we do like kind of a Secret Santa type thing or whatever. And yeah. that spirit is still there. The whole... Yeah we hang out with each other we eat good food we chill um i don't know the the, the spirit of giving is still there i, I think i would say a, a good amount of the traditions are there but the actual vibe like walking around seeing the christmas decorations the like, sensation th- th- there's a couple of santas out but like i don't i don't really see a lot of you know what i'm saying i'll say that this year this fall f- is the first fall season in several years where i've kind of felt on an emotional level that it's fall if you, if you know what i mean like mm-hmm. you can kind of you just get the sensation inside of you that it's like fall is here you know what mm-hmm. i mean and it, and it makes you crave certain things like it kind of makes you crave like wearing a like a hoodie or like watching something that reminds you of fall For some, or something like that some people might be pumpkin spice yeah like <clears throat> this is the first time in a couple of years <laughs> which i'm really happy about that i'm actually feeling i'm actually feeling like it's fall again you know what i mean that's that's I, awesome i didn't really think about that but like yeah i feel like fall doesn't really you don't you don't feel a hit until it's almost halloween now it's like okay the date comes yeah it's not it's not like but then again, I don't know. Maybe it's just because you're working and... I, yeah. You know what I think it was is... Uh, this is kind of stupid, but... Like, okay, so every day I take at least one walk uh, kind of around uh, the place that I work. There's, like, a nice little path that you can go on. And I make this, um, <laughs> like, 
uh, deliberate effort to step on every single crunchy leaf that I see. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll just, like, walk out of my way or, like, change up, how, like, where I'm putting my feet or something just so I can step on the crunchy leaf because I love the, the sound and the feeling. And then also it's, like, because I'm outside walking around, I can feel the cold. I'm wearing something kind of folly, like I'm, I'm wearing boots or something like that, and it's crunchy and it's kind of crispy. It, it just feels really good. Like, I feel like I'm appreciating this fall a lot more than I've appreciated a fall season in the past. Hmm, that's very interesting. Yeah. Actually, to be fair, and this is kind of a little bit random, but I didn't never really... I mean, I appreciate winter. It's like my favorite season. I know Chris is not a big fan. Not a big one. <laughs> but fall fall is first, but winter is a close second. Um, I only truly appreciate this one time where after I moved into my house... Uh, because it was like a, there was a new like trail area near there. I started walking on there like almost every morning. Also, I was an avid Pokemon Go player, so oh, I'd, yeah. I'd get in those Poke Miles, you know, mm-hmm. or Poke Kilometers, whatever. <laughs> and so every morning I'd take a walk, and that was like, man, this fall is fucking uh, this this winter was fucking great because I actually went out and appreciate it. So you know that might it might just be that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I I don't know. There's something about actually immersing yourself mm-hmm. into into the season in, in some way or another whether that be picking up like a, a PSL at Starbucks or like going on a walk and feeling the crunch beneath your feet there's something about it that just like really gets you feeling it and then of course mm-hmm. like bringing it back to Halloween um, I don't know maybe you guys have like certain traditions with your family or something like that that you mm-hmm. that you do every year you guys have anything like that uh, for me it's just staying home handing out candy to the kids so my family doesn't really celebrate Halloween, but uh, occasionally we get some candy and leave it by the door. We actually hope they don't. <laughs> I mean, what my dad does, and me and my brothers just get like pissed off about it. My dad is like, "I right, just turn the lights off. No one's gonna come to our house." I'm like, "The kids are coming. They want candy. Mm-hmm. Fuck it, I want candy." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? I'm an adult. It doesn't fucking matter. I want candy. Um, but when, but when we, when we were younger, we would uh, as a little group kind of walk around and we'd only go like to five or six houses that's it wow oh wow yeah just in an immediate neighbor but that was enough because our like we could they get gave out a lot we gave out like a lot of candy that's nice um and yeah. you know we, we we got hooked up quite a bit and then we didn't come back with bags full of candy like we weren't min maxers we weren't like crazy we just went had fun for like 20 30 minutes and came back okay because our dad usually went with us and if not it was we had a bunch of siblings yeah came sure. back and then we'd you know, just chill, and then we eat the candy like fat asses. <laughs> Nowadays, I, I, I feel like now it's just gonna be, um, I'm just gonna buy candy, or if not, <laughs> I'm gonna try trick or treating. But I, I'm just too lazy. Like honestly, I game at night. You know, I just I have. I think other... that's I think that's the, the problem now with the, Halloween dying down is because you know technology is kind of like, grasping me us grasping us inside I, and outside. Yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, actually, that that's a very fair point because. Literally, I just put my daily routine of gaming over a once a year holiday. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So right there, that that kind of stands to testify that damn. <laughs> I think that could kind of uh, be some kind of cause for like why the sensations that you felt during the the changing seasons or the approaching holidays that you felt as a kid maybe don't feel as strong uh, to you now because we're so caught up in our in our daily lives and things that we're just used to all the time. Mm-hmm whether it be like technology or just obligations or something like that, you just get so caught up in that, that you, you kind of lose the moment or you're not absorbing the moment as you would as a kid Mm -hmm. where everything is completely about the present. You're always, or at least, I don't know, my experience when I was a kid is you're, you're kind of always like living in the immediate moment. Your idea of consequences don't go past like, oh no, yeah. my parents told me not to do it. You know, like, yeah. other than that, you're like, fuck it, I'm, I'm immortal. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of things weighing on your mind when you're a kid, uh, which is nice. Definitely mm-hmm. kind of miss that. Maybe but, that's what you're feeling, Chris, when you're walking out, crunching the leaves. Rem- reminiscence. I, yeah. So, like, I, I make sure that I don't have my phone in my hands. It's always just in my pocket, and I just... I want to experience the sensation. You know what I mean? I want to feel the kind of cold air and I want to feel the crunch and I want to just like take in, I want to take in the atmosphere. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. and I feel like that's causing me to feel a bigger level of appreciation for like the season and stuff like that. So that, 
I'm kind of really happy that I started this and I, I'm, I'm making myself do this because I feel like it's kind of making me live in the moment more. Mm-hmm. And that's fair. I mean, this is something that isn't just unique to you, but I think everyone, me included, could definitely take use of this. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I know for a fact that there were times when I felt better or I felt more immersed is the right word, but also like cognizant of my surroundings, cognizant yeah. of that peace. Yeah, like cognizant of like, damn, nature really is beautiful type. You know that type yeah. of feel when you actually do try it. <laughs> like, I know everyone says it, but like, just just do it. And it's actually kind of fun. It's yeah. kind of like applying uh, like mindfulness. Like if you've ever tried meditation, if you if you're mindful of usually if you're meditating, it's of your of your breath or some mm-hmm. some focus area on your body or something like that. Mm-hmm. But if you take that and apply it to other senses besides uh, things that you can feel, maybe things that you can see or or again, like feeling something under your feet, crunch. Um, maybe it's it's that forcing yourself to be in the immediate moment uh, that kind of makes you feel immersed. And it kind of has uh, like consequences that resonate with you for the rest of the day or the week or something, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah. yeah. And at the end of the day, everyone's trying to do... We chase many things, but it almost always comes down to experiences and feels. So uh, this could be a good way to feel better. But... We mentioned our, well, kind of lack of, of a Halloween traditions, but Chris, I think you might have something. So You haven't said yours yet. Yeah, so um, definitely for me when I was a kid, uh, what we would always do every Halloween is we would drive to my, my grandparents' neighborhood because the neighborhood that I lived in at the time, um, all the houses were pretty spread out and there was a lot of hills and stuff, mm-hmm. so... It was like in the same amount of time we could make up a lot more ground, like hit nice. a lot more houses. So, so. You, you were you were, you guys were the min maxers. So. Yeah, like we would definitely um, we would definitely just like head over there, say hi to our grandparents, uh, and just go trick or treating in, in their neighborhood, and then come back and just hang out with them for a little bit, and we'd just be on our way home, dump all the candy out, and just see what there is to see, and uh, you know, eat way too much sugar. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was that Get was nightmares. the best. Feeling. Halloween Last nightmares. Time, <laughs> the only time I actually did that, I got a bag full. Was like I want to say two years ago, mm-hmm. went with our friends. Oh wow! And it was kind of it was kind of chasing that reminiscent feel. Yeah. It was like our friend group, and then we went, and then we got a bunch of candy. But we were full as adults, man. Mm-hmm. So it was lucky, luck, lucky that we brought like you know some of our younger siblings and younger like you know. And that's with um, Stephanie and yeah, Janet, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, she brought, like, little cousins and stuff and little siblings, and that helped us get candy. Yeah. Because, <laughs> damn. It's like, here we are, not just uh, <laughs> full-grown people by ourselves. It yeah. kind of reminds me of um, this one um, memory I had of Halloween is when I was pretty old. Like, I was, like, I think 12 or something, and then I was with my younger cousins, and we went out trick-or-treating together, and then there was this one house. We knocked on the door, and he came out, hey, so what are you supposed to be? I just just in normal clothing I wasn't like oh. dressing the costume he's like uh are you supposed to be something I'm like yeah myself <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I get some candy and he, he's like ah only people in the costume get candy and he just like ignored me and gave it to the rest <laughs> of my cousin's candy wow yeah, I felt so hurt and it, it felt H- like how old were you though I was like 12 Oh shit! So you're a kid, man. Fuck that guy. <laughs> like if you're an adult and you were not cool, he's like, man, not cool, man. You should at least. Get... But yeah. you're a kid too. Yeah. Sorry yeah. if I don't have a costume. It hurt my feelings. That's rough, dude. dude that's what a, what a dick. You should have said that you were a monk. <laughs> <laughs> when when you guys did go out to, for like Halloween, what what do you guys like usually dress up as? So we were we we didn't really oh. um, <laughs> so we have cultural clothing right so it's like mm-hmm. the robe with the hood mm-hmm. so I could just wear that and I'd look like a fucking Jedi or I'd look like a or like a fucking like dark wizard from any story funny um, you say Jedi because that's what I dressed up as a lot wow <laughs> I mean I know you're a bit of a Star Wars fan right uh not so much the movies I love the video games yeah, yeah the games specifically like one franchise if you check out our uh, our very first podcast episode I totally go into detail on games that games with one. impact yeah but uh yeah, I mean, uh, it was easy, you know, just dress, dress up as, like, Anakin Skywalker or something like that. Or, uh, or I went as, like, Harry Potter one year. I can't really remember all the stuff that I've been in the past. I was usually just, like, Jedi. Oh, my God. One time I went to a Halloween party in high school, <laughs> and I dressed up as, like, a hula dancer. And so I, I was just, like, shirtless with, like, a grass skirt on and then some lays, and that was it. <laughs> That's fucking beautiful. Yeah, I just wore some flip flops. That was fun. That was a good one. Oh, man. For me, it was. Uh, I was I'd, I'd love to see that site. For me, it was like. Uh, I bet I have pictures. Uh, 
We could just do it now. As a ninja. Take your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> I dressed up as a ninja. Don't tempt me. <laughs> You were a ninja sling? Yeah, when I was like a little kid, we had like the plastic sword. I was like the red ninja. Yo, I think I was that too. <laughs> I, I think, think my older <laughs> brother was a fan of the red ninja. Nice. And uh, he had a full, like he had the bodysuit thing. Yeah, I hey, did too. Nice. And I, I'm not sure if he had a sword, but he definitely had the, the like, skin tight kind of yeah. Yeah, thing. Mm, I had that. And then I think another year I was like red, the red uh, Power Ranger. I feel like I might have been Shit. a Power Ranger What did before. you say before that? The Red uh, Ninja? Ninja? I meant the Red Power Ranger, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think my costume like choices just went downhill. I just got really lazy. And, uh, went to, mm-hmm. and then I think like one Halloween, I dressed up as a pajama boy. <laughs> Were you wearing pajamas? <laughs> yeah, I was wearing pajamas and I got a towel and like kind of stuffed in my shirt. That's funny. As a cape. And yeah. Dude, nice. <laughs> nice. I, uh, I went as Captain Underwear. Or Underpants? Yeah, Captain Underpants. Oh, dude. I, lo- I love reading that, that yeah. comic book when I was younger. I was not in my underwear only but I think I don't know why I did this but I think I just wore like a gray tracksuit and then some underwear on the outside <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah, yeah. That, that's fair that's fair I don't know why the, Cause I knew, who let me do that I think it was my mom's idea actually she was like oh like, this would be funny I feel like your mom so was just geeking mom. at you and just like she yeah was like you the whole time. in retrospect I, I never would have worn that on my own I don't think I came up with that myself she was she's probably making fun of you yeah probably time. but you fell for it yeah yeah it yeah. is what it is so, like, we didn't really do much in way of uh, dressing up because, I mean, we didn't really celebrate it. But mm-hmm. that went, that time I went two years ago, um, my little brother, who was, like, out of town at the time, he actually had a, ba- a shirt, like, a black shirt, and it was, like, a nice shirt, but it had the Batman symbol. Oh, yeah. And so he let me wear that, and I just went around. I, I didn't look like Batman. I just had a shirt that had this little logo on it, so it looked cool. True. And Did I'm you like, guys... Uh, and I just I'm like, I'm Batman. You guys ever go out with your... Friend. Like aside from the time uh, you went with Stephanie and Janet, you guys ever go with your friends? Uh, no, nah, because I, mean, I, I only did it when oh, I was a yeah, little kid. But other than that, no. What about you, Sonny? I did. I went out with a uh, Rosme and a couple of other friends. Mm. So, and we—that's the day I dressed up as Pajama Boy. <laughs> wow, <laughs> they, they probably still give you shit for it. Yeah, Wait, I've heard the story. Of yeah. Pajama Boy. Yeah, yeah they give me shit. For yeah, you. they gave me a lot of shit for it. Like, what, did, what did they wear? Um, one friend. She wore like a hamster onesie, and um, okay. Rosme was a K-pop star. Hot. My he, other, f- he, he really, he, he already is one. Yeah. What all he, you, what literally, all he did for his costume was wear glasses, like my glasses right now. That's why. That's all he wore. Oh, like the movie theater ones. Yeah, the three D ones. Uh, yeah. yeah, he popped it out, and then he just wore that. Gotcha. And then the other one was so literally I, I, he wore his JR TOC, <laughs> like attire just the, wow. the army attire and that's all he, he's like oh i'm a general i'm like okay <laughs> that's okay. pretty funny actually so he's just as low effort as you damn <laughs> uh-huh. but uh, they yeah they made fun of me like the whole time and then, i don't know why they can make fun of you for that but like brasman just wears fucking 3d glasses and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fuck and we went to like this uh another friend's house and no one knew like what my costume was and so she finally like she, the first time she like looked at me she's like are you pajama boy I felt so happy because no one would acknowledge oh. my costume except her. And I was, ah. Wait, was, who is this? Uh, Just some random lady? No, no, no. Oh, it was, it was, it was one, one of your other friends. Yeah, one of oh, my gotcha, friends. Gotcha, oh, gotcha. oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, she oh, came down dang. and she saw me and she's like, oh, you're pretending right? I'm like, thank you. <laughs> oh, I need that. I have been acknowledged. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I fun. truly am. <laughs> that's cool. That's good. And yeah, I think that's You ever go out with your it. friends stuff? Uh, not really. I mean, all right, so, like, when I was uh, growing up in elementary school, I was pupil-placed at a different school not in my area. So mm-hmm. none of my friends lived in the area. Oh. So it would be, like, a big hassle for my parents to, like, drop me off, uh, like, kind of far away uh, with some of my school friends to go trick-or-treating. So you're just one of those solo-goers, or maybe you went with your brother or whatever. Yeah, like, we always just went to my grandparents' neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that mm-hmm. was pretty much it, though. But uh, the end result's the same, candy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I went. I think I went once with my friends, but it ended up being only okay. Like I think that I was with some of my really good friends, but they are also with their other friends, and it was just like mixing crowds, and it was just weird. <laughs> It'd also be like, like you don't you don't get to talk with your friends all the time. Yeah, because like, they're with their friends now. Exactly. Like, yeah. Nah, I feel yeah. So it ended, it ended up not being like amazing like i probably would have had more fun if i was just like 
you know, doing this, you know, the standard or whatever. Do you, you guys have it? any, like, bad Halloween moments? Like, something, like, really bad went down on Halloween? I don't, but I just want to know if you guys do. Not really. I can't really think of anything bad. Nothing, like, horrifying or scary, I guess, but... I think I got raisins one year. That was bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's horrifying. I, I've definitely gotten raisins before, but I mean, I'm like, fuck it. I might have gotten toothpaste, actually, too. Ew. Oh, yeah, you, know, you sometimes get those little travel packs of yeah. like, random shit. Yeah, just, like, like super, <sighs> like, yeah. It's like, if you're going to take all this candy here, also have some I of this. I fucking hate when people give apples away. Apple Oh, away. yeah, apple. Like, apple. straight up apple. Literally just apples on Halloween. Why? Was that a thing? Yes. Yeah. People do that. Yeah, people have done that. I've, I've never been cursed enough to, to, to <laughs> find an apple in my yeah, like, candy bag. Stay healthy. I'm like, you piece of shit. <laughs> you know, there was a baby sunny. There was this one house shit. that uh, they gave out like juice boxes and other oh, shit. Oh, that's like awesome. That. Like, like actually good stuff that you would want. Oh, yeah. But, you know. But not necessarily more. candy. Yeah. Oh. It was kind of nice. I mean, I actually, I actually like the concepts. I can't imagine how. That, that's like one of my names when I was a little kid. Is. I just remembered uh, they had a table and they would just bring in milk and you could just little, teeny little plastic cups. Oh yeah. And we just drink milk because there's so much fucking chocolate going around. Yeah, yeah. And that's cool. Uh, you guys already knows about me. I'm a sucker for milk. I love drinking milk. Oh, true. I like but, milk. Yeah. So I mean, that, that shit. That that I loved it. Yeah, that's good. Actually, that'd be really interesting because everyone's gonna be giving out candy. If you were the one to give out, like, let's say, like, Powerades or whatever. Games. Yeah. Like or, like, we, or like, like, apple and orange juice boxes or whatever. We, like, specifically always made sure, like, because the house is kind of out of the way. We made sure But we made with. sure to hit that one. Yeah. Because I always gave, like, something different. Always, or... yeah. Mm, it was like something kind of nice. Yeah. Like, you look forward to it. Yeah. I'm specifically liking that drink pick because, I mean, yeah. you're getting so much candy, a little drink to keep you going. Plus, it, yeah, exactly. It's like, a, you know, you're walking around the neighborhood. Maybe you're, like, kind of hungry or something. So it would be kind of like a and small if, snack and then, like, a juice box or something. That's yeah, kind of nice. Just eating chocolate to keep going. Kinda, yeah. Kind of kind of doesn't really work out that well. Yeah, I remember yeah. one of Halloween. I didn't get it, but um, some kids are walking around with, like, balloon animals. <laughs> they got balloon animals. Dang. That's cool. I'd actually like that though. Like, yeah, like, that'd be neat. Like, some, like someone girl with like a dog and some other boy with like an elephant or something. Mm. I was like, damn, I want that. So we we looked like everywhere around the neighborhood to to find that one house with the balloon animals, but nope, couldn't find <laughs> it. Good. We never could find it. Man, maybe they ran out. But you know what? Very... I would want oh. glow sticks, man. <laughs> Chris, I was about to say it. I Yo. Story. <laughs> you have another story? Yeah. It read his mind, man. Damn. No, maybe not really a story, but like just one time where I saw like kids with lightsaber glow sticks. Like, True. Like glow stick swords. It was so rad, but like I said before. Couldn't find we, it. We couldn't find it. Dang. Damn it. <laughs> I remember one time I got these weird ass things. It's like kind of like a bracelet, but they're just plastic and they snap on. And so oh they, yeah, they don't glow in the dark, but they're shiny enough that they reflect light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Dude, those are cool. Yeah, the ones that you just like smack on your wrist and then they like wrap around. They, they you. perforate like around yeah, you. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. Those so, are fun. So, so I got like a couple of those. Ended up with four or five of those. Still have them. They don't do nothing for me, but they're cool. I think I had. They're flashing. Everyone like everyone had was flashing around in the lights and stuff. Oh yeah. But I've never got. I've never gotten lucky enough to be one of those kids who got like the glow stick or the lightsaber or any like do the. the the cool shit but you're right every year i see somebody with it and i'm like how'd they get that i feel like people might just go out and buy it uh beforehand just maybe as just a A flex like a well (laughs) or more possibly but a safety thing oh Mm -hmm. oh like a like an accessory for the halloween actual Uh trick-or-treating yeah so so like one of the things that i'm always uh more cautious of during halloween is driving Oh, heck. There's a shitload of kids going out. They're excited about the candy and stuff. Yeah, when they're just going to run out. You want to be super careful. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like it could be uh, that the parents might just buy them glow sticks or something like that just so that they're more visible. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's cool. That actually makes a lot of sense. It would make your... Stay safe out there. Yeah, I feel like it would make sense to like, send your kid as like, Bob the Builder or some shit so they can have like a reflective... <laughs> <laughs> I have Yo, some. Hey, Maybe I hold get up. Some My dad actually has because like, he volunteered for our, our mouse one time like for parking. And uh-huh. so, so they gave him one of those oh, nice. reflective vests. But my dad already had his. So, like, I mean, we have some of those extra ones. So, oh, like, true. I can just wear that and say, yeah, I'm, I'm a... I'm a, I'm I'm a, a construction a, worker. Yeah, yeah I'm... I'm an engineer. I'm a, st- I'm a st- structural worker. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. A civil engineer, something like that. <laughs> I'm going to slap two nickels behind me. I'm my, behind my back. <laughs> Nickel back. Damn. <laughs> Do a quarter. Yeah, I play football. 
Oh, I'm a quarterback. <laughs> wow. <laughs> ah. Yeah. That, oh. Those are good ideas, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. No one's going to get it, but... <laughs> Hey. Well, those who do, they would appreciate it, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, yeah. Man, less real, than real acknowledges and recognizes real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, if one man with a nickel on the back sees another man with a nickel on the back, they're best buddies already. Ten cent. Do you know what? One thing I have not done that is very Halloweeny and you know fall seasony hmm. is I've never carved a pumpkin. Speaking of carving pumpkins. Uh, I was wondering if you guys are still coming on Sunday to carve pumpkins at my house. See, that's why I brought it up because hey. I was invited for the first time by Chris to mm-hmm. for a car- pumpkin carving. I'm definitely down. It turns so, out a lot of my minority friends, go figure, have never carved a pumpkin. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a <laughs> like like like. I, I know it sounds sounds weird from maybe an outside perspective, but I cannot imagine my mom or dad coming home with a pumpkin. Hey, let's carve this shit. I think I carved it once before. I think. Like we've had pumpkin before, but it's just we just ate it, like we just cooked it or whatever. Oh, that's funny. But Yo, it's, we should. It's uh, never been like a cultural practice or anything mm-hmm. for us. So we should make the thumbnail of this one like one of the pumpkins I've carved in the past, because I'm actually like okay, fucking spicy at like carving pumpkins. Dude, dude. Okay, so I only saw one, but um, when Chris invited us, he was he was showing like, hey, I did this one in the past. It was a fucking Skyrim logo with a the dragon. Yeah, it was the dragon. <laughs> That was beautiful. I'm telling you, it's spot on, too. Okay, so yeah. I started playing Breath of the Wild. I might do something that has to do yeah. with Zelda or one of those things. I don't know, man. Every the, every single year, I always do, like, a video game-themed uh, pumpkin. Pretty much always, yeah. Like, we'll definitely I'm leave, in, leave an also... image down below. Yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah we'll yeah, definitely link that one. And then, yeah, and if you guys have any interesting, like, images or, like, what what, what are your best carvings? Like, hit us up. Like we'll definitely rank them, maybe. <laughs> we'll do like we'll do like a tier Pumpkin list. Pumpkin tier list, yeah. Actually, actually though, I'd yeah. be down to see you guys. Um, Yo, that's signs. that's uh that's one of my favorite um Halloween traditions. I actually don't know why I didn't think of it before this, but uh yeah, carving pumpkins is like super fun, and I'm glad that uh like usually my family actually hosts like a carving party, so people will just come over with their pumpkins like BYOP. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta go buy a pumpkin by the way. <laughs> I do too. Yeah, I'm not ready yet. Uh, I'll 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 go go with you and get get a pumpkin. Lit, yeah. I think uh, I think that uh, it's gonna be a good time. Hopefully, people enjoy it, get a feel for it, and it's actually like not that bad. Like what I usually do is I'll go on the internet, find a picture that I can uh, like blow up in like Word it's or like, something. Like tracing. Yeah, I print it, and then what you do is you you can get these um these little tiny poker things that are maybe like a centimeter long Two, uh, toothpicks yeah it's kind of like a toothpick but it's got like a little handle on the end of it and then it's it's easy to just a scalpel uh you, you uh like tape the picture to your pumpkin and then you just poke little tiny holes all along the outline of what you want of to the cut. pumpkin and it gives you a uh Perfect. it's like a stencil what do you actually carve with is this a knife you just stab the shit there's actually like specific pumpkin carving knife things. Really? Yeah, they're serrated, and so it makes it super easy to just like get around those tight corners because they're they're really thin and uh, narrow and nimble, and you know the serration allows you to just kind of saw like be mm-hmm. very precise with your cuts. Very interesting. Yeah. I would say the key to a really solid um, pumpkin carving is actually like the pre-processing that you do to it. So like what you do is you first grab a big ass knife. You cut the top off, right? And then, obviously, the pumpkin is, like, moist and and wet and full of, like, pumpkin guts. (laughs) Step one is always just going in with your hands, getting, like, pretty dirty and, like, taking all the guts out, right? And you put it on, like, a plate or in the trash or something like that. You can keep it if you want to eat it, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I might try cooking something new. Yeah. Because I I, I, I bake sometimes for these guys, and uh, I want to try something new. Let's try something pumpkin. (laughs) Yo, like, a classic one to always go with, because you have the seeds anyway, is just putting some olive oil and some salt and uh like on top of the pumpkin seeds and you roast them in the oven for a little bit take them out man they're like the roasted pumpkin seeds man they're so good roasted pumpkin seeds a they're delicious olive oil and salt yeah i got those super easy um yeah we should make something with the guts though because we're gonna have a, like a lot of guts at this party man oh wait so like at your place oh yeah like you we're, we're gonna be making uh, can, like can i bake <laughs> of course yeah you can bake oh, like you fuck, can do whatever you yes. want to man um yeah, you can do whatever you want. My oven is your oven. <laughs> <laughs> Me oven, <Su> oven. <laughs> yeah, 
but yeah, like, what, like, but all right. So like, once the guts are out of your pumpkin, though, you take this uh, scraper tool, right? It's like a plastic. I don't know how else to call it, but a scraper, and you basically just work on thinning out the uh, the inner the edges the of inner your pumpkin lining of the entire pumpkin. Yeah, much. the inner lining of the pumpkin. You just go like that, like, it's like just a barrel scraper, kind of. And yeah, you're just making it. You're making it drier and you're making it thinner so that you can be a lot more nimble with your mm, cuts. Mm, right? I see. And then the other part of that is uh, when you light up your candle and put it inside, it looks really cool when it glows. Hmm. You know, I I guess is, I guess pumpkin carving is entire art, which kind of makes sense. It's a natural t- tradition for many people. There's a lot that goes but, into uh, it. There's a lot of tool. Yeah, I, it's a lot of fun, though. I've just never done it myself, but damn, I... I mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to that, and uh, I'm also looking forward to hearing what other people do for the traditions, because, uh, I mean, this is all fairly new to me, so. Yep, yep, yep. It'll yep. be my first pumpkin carving. I hope it turns out good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Somehow, uh, when you put that candle in and look at it in the dark, it looks ten times better <laughs> than it ever, than you ever, like, think it would, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I, might, I might, wait, doesn't the pumpkin go bad, though? Yeah, I mean, it takes a little while for it to go bad, though. All right, so just gotta make sure I take some good pictures. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you gotta immortalize it in the in the pictures, man. And you gotta wait for it to get like nice and dark out, and then you see the orange glow of the light coming out of it, dude. It looks amazing. That's what I'm talking about. It looks so good. Like, yeah, we'll have to we'll get all crafty, man. All right, well, that's gonna be if that's gonna be us for our traditions and kind of what we're looking forward to. Tell us what you you guys look forward to, or what what you like about Halloween or spooky season. And uh, what your traditions are. Yeah. And also hit us up with your pictures. We might do like an actual video on ranking them. <laughs> <laughs> that actually be pretty funny. Oh, wait. Uh, before we go, we want to plug our YouTube channel that we just created. Oh, yeah. So we just got into the animation game. <laughs> <laughs> so we're putting these podcasts or some of these stories of the podcast onto YouTube. And it's out there we're on the sick podcast. And we'll we'll put the links down below. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll link the YouTube. Uh, definitely check us out. Uh, let us know what you think. And but before you leave, also check out Tables of Tabled. Yep. Um, probably the coolest gaming channel I have stumbled across by <laughs> complete accident. <laughs> <laughs> no affiliation whatsoever. Uh. Um, yeah, I, I kid. Sonny here and his and his and his good friend and our constant and recurring guest Razme. Yep. Uh, together have created a gaming channel, and uh, right now they're playing through Dark Souls. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to play more games and definitely mm-hmm. check us out. Yeah, check out uh, their, ta- their, yeah, their table. <laughs> check out our table. Check out their channel <laughs> and see the sick podcast Tables of Table with collaboration on their Halloween special. We're playing Visage? Yep. We're oh, playing we're Visage. playing a scary game. There's Oof. a lot of funny moments and a lot of screaming. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time on the sick podcast and maybe on Tables of Tables. And happy Halloween. <laughs> happy Halloween. Peace out.